So, welcome back, if you can tell, it's also another Taylor Finn video! So I went to her reputation tour in Melbourne on Friday, and I have a lot to say about it. Okay, first I'm going to get a few disclaimers out there and we're going to kind of get the gist of where this video is going. Probably the title will be telling you anyway. Um, but this is kind of a rant. <laughs> It's coming from a very privileged position. I've let in the, my emotions get the best of me and I'm just going with them and I just need to like let this go and get it out. Um, it's not like I really want anything to come of this besides maybe if anyone who is watching this and is in kind of somewhat of a privileged position of creating stages for concerts, I would hope that you take anything that I'm criticizing on board as constructive criticism or advice maybe I don't know <laughs> let's just get into this okay so first of all on the 13th of December 2017 last year Taylor's birthday I well a best birthday in Australia I bought some tickets for the reputation tour I wanted snake pit general mission standing because I like standing I like to be closer to the stage I think it gives you the best view the best advantage all of that stuff um, and so that's what I went for. There, I will put up some pictures as and videos and stuff as I'm going through this so that you can see what I mean when I'm talking about it. But the map is like, the stage, I guess the stage setting is kind of like an X in a way. So you have the stage here and then um, you have like two runways going and then they have pit one, pit two, pit three in them. I really wanted pit 2 obviously because it's at the centre stage you can kind of both look to both sides and see the runways go by so when she walks past whereas if you're on one of the other the side pits um, you can only really see the main stage bit and then the runways. I think everyone kind of wanted to have 2. Um, from what I'm gathering from my experience and from everyone else who was there on the day in the line, those ones the hardest ones to get. I don't know if a lot of it looked like there was less people in two than there was in one and three. I don't know, but that's what I thought. So I bought my ticket and with handling and everything, it came to about $825.20 in Australian money, which is quite expensive considering last year she was like 600, I mean not last year, last time she was here she was like $600 and the time before that was cheaper too. It just, the price keeps going up. So you're kind of expecting a lot from this if the ticket is that expensive. Um, but yeah, so we'll just stick with that kind of image of where I was, what tickets I got and how much I paid. And we'll come back to that later when we, when I get into it a little bit in more detail. So I've been to, this will be my third concert that I've been to for Taylor's. The first one was obviously, oh I guess not obviously, the first one was the Red Tour, then I went to 1989 and now Reputation. I came kind of late to the game. When I went to the Red Tour, my friend knew I liked Taylor and she bought it for me as um, a birthday present or a Christmas present or something like that. So we were on, it was at um, Eddie Head Stadium, now it's called Marvel Stadium, so whatever. And it was on the floor seated and this is the f one of the first times I went to a stadium concert and I realized that if I was going to sit anywhere it either have to be back in the stands or be standing at the front because if you're at um, a stadium tour and you're on the floor you're all seated at the same level so it's really hard to see over someone else's head or whatever and with the red tour this was pretty prominent when we were there and we were viewing it and they had like videos and stuff of the screen but you only got to see really what was ever on the video and not necessarily what you wanted to necessarily view yourself. Anyway, so Red was really, I really liked a lot of those songs. It was, it's considered one of the best albums that she has and merchandise, everything was cool. So here's a photo of them. Um, anyway, so that was my experience with Red with 1989 best concert of my life like oh my god this girl just outdid herself I don't know who she I can't remember who she picked to organize the event in Australia but they knew what they were doing I got I went she was she had three shows in Melbourne because it pretty much all just sold it out it was at any park stadium this time and um, basically the first night I got a really cheap ticket, I was sitting up in the stands and wanted to see how it was going. Second night I got 
VIP one, which was the stage. This time was like long stage with a, or maybe a stage here, and then it had like a runway. And then there was like pits at the side of the stage, and then like as a standing pit at the very end on beach stage. So the first night, a uh, second night, sorry, I got VIP one, and I was on the pit on the right side of the stage. And the third night, I was at VIP four, I think, and I was at standing at the very end of stage B. Um, so. That was the best experience of my life. I didn't know concerts could be conducted so in such an organized manner where it was calm and everyone knew what was going on. So basically I got there early in the early AM lining up, didn't want to miss a chance to be as close to the stage as possible. Then I can't remember what time, but they opened up the booth so that we could get our merchandise, like our VIP stuff, packages and all of that, and our wristbands. And when we found out, well, I guess what we found out next was that they were numbering the wristbands. So you could go, literally leave the line once you got your wristband, come back when the doors were going to open and they'd line us all up in the number that we got. And that was just amazingly well organized. So we could go back, go do our own thing, come back to the line, get, go enter into the building. They'd line us up outside. We could go to the toilet before and then they'd like, walk us in one by one into the stadium down to whatever pits we were standing in and no one was allowed to rush no one was allowed to push we had to walk single file and one by one like slowly and that was such the it was so safe and everyone was really reassured in their place in line that they weren't going to miss out so that they didn't have to feel like they had to rush and yeah it's just like it was i have no words because it was just amazing that's where some of the positives end and we get into the reputation tour. So unlike 1989, how that was organized, the reputation tour kind of went backwards. So basically you got there lined up and you had to wait all day in line. If you left and you didn't have anyone there to save your spot, you could lose your spot. Luckily I was there early, not that early, I was only went about 10. I ended up interacting with a lot of Taylor fans and the first 10 people in line, we basically all kind of got on, talked, played games, all of this stuff, had lots of fun. Sorry to all of those people who got put into my pit and heard me ranting and let my saw my emotions get the better of me. I honestly did say to them, I'm sorry, I'm feeling really negative about this, I don't want to, I don't want to judge this before I see it, but my heart just is sinking. Anyway, so we'll get into that. So basically, um, we checked in, got, it was really confusing because we didn't, none of us exactly knew what was going on because they kind of gave us false information at times and so it was a little confusing. Anyway, we've got our wristbands and all of that got checked in and then it was kind of almost like a free-for-all. Instead of walking calmly, everyone was kind of sprinting to get to... The, the whatever pit that they were in and because you weren't like organized single file and let in like I think in the 1989 tour they let us all in first before they let other people in I don't know I could be wrong but they like let everyone in the same and multiple people in at the same entrance too and so it just caused a bit more of a panic and chaos and all of that stuff anyway so we got there walked in saw where we were standing and my heart literally just sank. I, we walked up to the, the, the barriers and the stage was literally taller than me. It was taller than everyone else. You could not see over the stage. It had to be like over two meters, two, at least two meters, over two meters tall. It was just, you couldn't see over it. And I'm just like, I just wanted to cry <laughs> because I'm just like, I'm here to see Taylor and I'm not going to see anything. And Honestly, I'm still so sad now and it's still like and I was so mad and I was so sad. I was just so emotional <laughs> and I just like okay, I can't judge this yet. I'll wait till I see the show and see how it goes. Was it oh I can't I keep forgetting the name Broods? I think they were the first support act. They were like I didn't really know who they were, but then like I heard their song some of their songs and they recognized them, but I don't really know still who they are. But they're New Zealand band and they're like pretty cool. They performed and she mainly performed in the center of the stage and that's right in front of 
where pit two would be standing. But if you were in pit one and three, the stage was set up in a way that you could only see about half of her body. So wherever like the waist was upwards, you could see of her. Whatever is down below, it was really, really hard to see from our viewpoint. We were really disadvantaged. And so I guess pit two seemed like that they were seeing the most of the show. Sometimes they, the artists tried to give us a bit of fan service or whatever and they'd walk up to us and walk along the, the runway where we had, the runway near us or the runway near pit three. And it was great and all but the main thing was that because we were kind of in our own little triangle, the person would kind of walk around the runway and face the majority of the audience, which was fine, I guess, I, I guess, it was just fine, I gathered they're facing the majority of the people, but the problem is, we're getting the back the most of the time, and because we're getting the back, and we're kind of looking at them facing the audience too, the light that is like the spotlight or whatever that's coming down onto the artist is also hitting us, so it's making it hard for our vision to kind of view them, as well as if you wanted to take videos or photos or anything like that, the light would affect the camera and you wouldn't see anything in clear detail. So that was very disappointing for me. On another level. Anyway, so like after the Roots came on, I was getting panicky and I went to go sort out a solution and there was this girl called Amanda and she wanted to she was like also not happy either. So we were gonna go see if we could downgrade our tickets because we just didn't want to be in that section anymore. And then as I was going to see if we could find someone, Charlie XCX came on it and I really love her and I'm just like, I'm sorry, I can't miss this. And she's like, no worries, I'll go find someone. You can stay here and watch this. So I did that. And I ended up standing in, not going back into the pit, I ended up standing like two meters away from it in like the cedar section. And I saw so much more than I could actually see when I was in the pit. And I'm just like, shit, what did I pay for? <laughs> Anyway, so Charlie was performing, she kicked Ash like she always does, I love her, but at the same time it's just like, you don't really get to see her. Anyway, so I'm just like really sad, and I'm just like, okay, whatever, can we find somewhere else to find? They, they're just like, no, you can't downgrade your tickets, and we're just like, oh, well we don't really want to be in here, we've got a restricted view. And they're just like, well, that's what you paid for. And it's like, no, I paid to see people perform with my own eyes. I didn't pay to see a stage. And I'm not trying to take my anger out on anyone. I'm just like, whatever. And I'm like, because I have such social anxiety, we, Amanda kind of was like, let's go sit in some empty seats. And I was like, oh, well, I feel really uncomfortable. I can't do this. I'd rather just go back to my shitty spot in the stadium and deal with it then, hopefully hoping for the best that Taylor's going to give us a bit more time than the sport acts were able to give us. Anyway, so she did. We went back and Taylor was amazing. I just loved, I just love Taylor. She's just like so beautiful. Her smile is so bright and so genuine and I just really love her music and her lyrics and what she stands for. Do I agree with everything she does? No, that's like life. Anyway, so she outdid herself. Her concert was amazing. She like topped every other one that she'd done. Like she just went back her like she went back and did some of her old albums, which I really love. Taylor is one of my favorite albums, and I'm glad that we got some songs from there, as well as other ones and all of that. And you could see that the production had gone up like. They'd, the set and design and costumes and dances and choreography and everything that had gone into it has definitely topped 1989. Problem with that, the stage would have, like, it would have had the best time that I've ever had at a Taylor concert if I was able to see it with my own eyes. And that's the problem, I wasn't. I was facing a stage most of the time and when I, when she came to our side of the stage, great, we could see her. <laughs> When she left our side and went to the other side of the stadium, or the other side of the stage, to just where, when it sees. <coughs> when she left our side and went to the other side where pit three was, we couldn't see her at all. Like when she kind of crossed across, when she moved across the stage, halfway through the stage, of center stage, half of her body was gone. By the time she got onto the other side, we couldn't see her at all. And if we wanted to see her, we had to like literally turn to the side and look up and look at a screen. 
Like, people mock our generation for being on their phones all the time at a concert looking at the screen. I do my phone out sometimes just so I could like lift it up and see her. Like, that's... That, I don't feel like that is quite right. Like... I literally bought the most expensive ticket. I paid I would, to, to see her. I spent all day in line so I could be as close to her as possible. And then at least a third, then at least a third or half of the show, I was only actually able to see her with my own eyes. Because we had a restricted view. But when we bought the tickets, I don't remember it telling me that there was a restricted view at all. But there was, it's because the stage was so high that you couldn't see over it. So you could only see whatever you were right next to. And that's not right. This stage, this, this tour and this stage was designed for seating. If you were seated, directly in front of the stage, facing it, or if you were seated up in the, sta the stadium, the stands, whatever, you'd be able to see it. If you were seated to the sides of the stage, or if you were standing right by the stage, you were very restricted with your view. On, like... <sighs> I'm just obviously not happy. <laughs> I'm still sad. I haven't even been, honestly, I haven't even been able to watch people's videos of Melbourne tour online because it just it just it just makes me sad <laughs> because I wasn't able to see it I would have loved to be able to see it but I wasn't able to see it with my own eyes and that disappoints me I mean I had an awesome time I danced like I would know I didn't care anyone was watching because I didn't I sang the lyrics I like sang to someone and someone sang to me and then I was like dancing and having a great time and rocking my little Tay Tay heart out my swifty heart out, but I couldn't even see her. I don't know what I paid for. And you know what I paid for? I paid for this box. This box has to be worth at least $400 because that ticket was not worth $800. It was worth at least half the price because it was restricted views. You couldn't see anything besides whatever was near at you. You couldn't see over the stage, you couldn't see to the other side of the stage, you couldn't see when she went to B stage, you couldn't see anything. Because there was a freaking two meter wall in front of you. I saw a stage the majority of the time that I was there. And like, granted, I don't care how much I paid, I feel really bad for people who paid a lot, who sacrificed so much to go there to see her but couldn't see her. Or could only see her for like, obviously a bit, like, well, could only see her for a bit of the time. And... If you were in pit 1 and pit 3, you were disadvantaged. If you were pit 2, you were still disadvantaged, but I think you got such a better view than everyone else in those pits. But if I, if I had known that that stage was going to be like that, I would have gotten seats up in the stands. I would have gotten the cheapest seats that I could have. Because I probably would have seen so much more than I did. So depressing. Do you want to hear a funny part of the story though? So, remember this. I have to grab it. Do you remember this? So this is, came with instructions to take off and it said that it was basically gonna be something special in the night. So basically it just lights up. You also get a wristband that lights up too, like the last time. Now, when the show started, this is going good. But this wasn't. This never loaded light light lit this never lit up for me this was just like whatever and I just put this quote in my hair this was all right until halfway through the show when it stopped working too I was just like oh my god how cursed am I I'm at this concert I'm like trying to have a good time trying to see like the good side of this even though my heart is breaking inside and I want to cry and I want and I want to I'm just like so mad and I mean, like, when she started singing and performing, like, that kind of went away because I could just enjoy myself from the music. But then it was just so funny that these never worked. I'm just like, okay, it's gonna, if it's going to happen to anyone, it's going to happen to me. It has to happen to me. And I'm just like, whatever. I honestly, before the show started, considered buying a ticket to Brisbane show just so that, or, like, Sydney show, just so that I could go buy some cheap seats and actually see what the show was like with my own eyes. Because now I'm gonna have to watch videos in order to see it because I couldn't see it. 
I saw some like bits of it but and I'm like I'm still like grateful that I was able to be that close to Taylor and like see her smile her genuine smile with my own eyes like she's just so beautiful and such like she has such a lovely soul but at the same time I'm just really sad that I couldn't see all of it and not like you can't really see all of it or all of it in detail but I feel like this catfished people like it sounded like it was going to be such a great opportunity such a great ticket but in reality it was one of the worst tickets you could have followed I don't understand it and like I said I don't I everyone's telling me to complain and and get something back for this or whatever but that's not what I want I want people to take into account if you're making a stadium tour don't go into it with the not thinking through all of the details like I guess the details of this stage was that so it gave majority of people the advantage to see it because I think this stage was built for the, the for everyone seated to have a better view but then don't make your general admission VIP like one number one tickets that expensive if they're going to be such a disadvantaged spot to be in at least I don't know I wouldn't know how to fix this. I'm just like, just think what your consumer is, who your fan is, who you're, who's really, who wants to be that close and don't give them like a big fuck you in the face by making the stage so high. Like there was theories going on that the MCG had like some kind of floor incident where people fell through the floor once so that they couldn't raise the floor to match the stage height. Or the stage was made so high because last time people were able to reach at Taylor and whatever. So there was theories about why the stage was the height that it was. But I can't justify that next to the price of the ticket. I would rather have not have this box. To not have all of the stage production stuff like the costumes and... All of that technological stuff and the dancers and all of this. I would rather have a stage with just Taylor, just standing there with her guitar, just singing her songs, or a piano, or whatever, just singing her songs, not doing anything, and having it just brilliantly her without all of this extra stuff. And have it like cheaper and not so expensive so that everyone can have the opportunity to enjoy it. Kind of like an Ed Sheeran thing. But I would take that over a box and ridiculously expensive like tickets to pay for all of this stuff when you can't even see it. Okay. Um... That is my rant out. <sighs> Honestly, just still quite disappointed. I'm not as disappointed as I originally thought I was going to be. Because it was a lot better. You were... It was better than when the support acts were there. Because there was more things that you could focus on. But at the same time, it's just like... Worst stage. That I've ever had. I've gone from like 1989, which was like one of the best tour, like best concert experiences that I've ever had, to Reputation, which was one of the worst, I guess, concert experiences from not being able to see anything, even though I was there and I should be, have been able to see something. Because I couldn't see over the stage. <sighs> Just a privileged person ranting about nothing about how they've wasted their money. If anyone actually watches this, I'm sorry that you've had to deal with my emotional outbreak if you've actually watched all of this, because I'm sure this is terribly long. And yeah, if you went to her concert, let me know if the stage was different for you, wherever you went, because I don't know if the stages were different around the world or even in Australia, or if Australia has its own stage height requirements or whatever. Just let me know what you, if you think that I'm, just let me know what you thought if you saw the concert 
or if you think I'm just being entitled and privileged and that over the top that oh my god I had all of this money and I spent it and I wasted it and like how dare Taylor not even come and like spent all of his time in front of me like I'm not really saying that like I don't care about the price in the sense that I would pay significantly less or significantly more if I could just see her with my own eyes but if I'm paying something and I'm expecting something in return and not actually getting it then I feel like that's kind of lying to the consumer especially if you're not telling us that it's restricted views when it is a restricted views there have been tickets where it's saying you've got a restricted view and it's literally just a little tiny pole dangling in front of you I had a freaking stage in front of me I couldn't see over I had to stand on my tiptoes and I still couldn't like see over the stage Okay, this is rant out. I'm so sorry for this. Um, I don't know if anyone will enjoy this rant of a video, but yeah. I will see you. Enjoy your day. Hopefully it was better than my Taylor experience. <laughs> Bye.